Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jesse from BCC Board Repairs. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to open up an iPad without breaking the glass so you can get inside and fix multiple things like a charging port. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is show what tools you need for the job. You need a heat mat, you need an Isesmo tool. This is for prying open the, the glass. You need a suction cup. You need multiple guitar picks. I like to use these Dunlop gray ones. And then you'll need some uh, thicker guitar, guitar picks, which I'll link all this in the uh, video description below. And a bottle of isopropyl alcohol. This is 99%. And that is pretty much all you need to open up the iPad without breaking the glass. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is turn on your heat mat by holding the power button. Then you wanna click M and set your temperature to 75. That is 75 Celsius, and I found that's the best temperature that works for opening iPads. I know some people say that having the temperature too high could damage the iPad uh, LCD, but I haven't had any issues with my specific heat mat. You might have to play with different settings on yours. Here you can see the temperature is working its way up to the configured temperature. So you do want to wait about five minutes for the mats to heat up the iPad to the proper temperature. So just go ahead and set it there and come back to it within you know, a few minutes. So here through the thermal camera, you can see the heat pad, how it's heating up the whole iPad. So the black square in the middle is the actual iPad and you can see the heat coils from the back. Uh, you can see the temperature has reached uh, somewhere between 60 Celsius, like 50, 60 Celsius. So the iPad should be ready to start being worked on. Okay, so now that it's been here for a few minutes, you wanna feel it. It's gotta be hot to the touch, and that means it's ready to uh, attempt to open it. So you wanna get your suction cup, place it up here in the upper right corner, press it down, uh, you can see you're on the power button, volume button, it's the front camera, so be on this corner. You want to lift it up a little bit and get some isopropyl alcohol, a few drops, and then you want to get your accessible tool. And the very tip, you want to try to insert between the glass and the frame. Once you get the tip in, you want to gently pry it inwards a little bit. Then apply a little bit more isopropyl alcohol and wiggle the tool so you get some clearance. Then I like to do like a little sawing motion to kind of get my way in there. So when, once you're at this point, you want to gra grab a guitar pick and work your way uh, through the side of your metal tool. You don't want to use the metal tool too much because that could damage the glass. So now I've worked the guitar pick here, which gave me a little bit of clearance, put a few drops of isopropyl alcohol, grab your other guitar pick, and work your way through the other side. And you want to do horizontal movements, that way uh, you don't risk damaging the glass, but you do uh, like pierce through the adhesive. So just kind of work your way through the top area. You can hear the glass separating from the frame. Now that you have this small gap here, you wanna grab one of the thicker guitar picks and then place it so it stays uh, spread open. Then you can work your, your other guitar picks, you know, maybe like a drop, and then work the guitar pick down the side Remember this model has the flex cables on this side, so you don't want to go further than halfway. Then you want to focus on this side. So just put a drop and work your way across. So then as you're working, just rotate the iPad so it's in a comfortable position. Add another drop. And you want to work your way sideways until you get to the corner. Add another drop. 
the, the isopropyl alcohol really softens that adhesive so it makes it a lot easier to separate. So now you can see I have a large enough gap here. This side, you do want to cut through all the adhesive because there's adhesive pretty much all across this uh, thicker side of the bezel. So you can see I've now separated, grab another thick guitar pick and also place it in there. So now you have these gaps created by the thicker guitar picks. And you basically just work your way around the iPad now. Anytime you feel resistance, add like another drop of isopropyl alcohol and work your way across. So if it feels too, too rough, just add more isopropyl alcohol. We do want to be careful not to put too much because you can get it on the LCD and damage it. So just the same strategy. The goal is to separate as much of the glass as possible. That way, at some point, it'll just be too detached to stay you know, on the frame. Add another drop. Now on, on, this, uh, on this spot, you do want to be careful. The home button flex is there, so try not to insert the tool too much. I think at this point we might be able to separate it a little further. So there's a small gap here. So I can, should be able to get my tool in here. You can do, do it like that, where you use one tool to create the space for the other one. Now th this side is, uh, feels attached somewhere. So I'm gonna actually get some scissors, some little scissors here, I'm going to cut any adhesive that is stuck from the glass to the frame. So as you separate, you'll see little pieces of adhesive that is stuck from down here to up here. So that helps release, help release the digitizer. You wanna put, put gentle amount of force because you don't wanna to be too rough and then break the glass. All right, so at this point, it feels like we pretty much have separated uh, this side. So to the left side of the home button is, um, there's no cables. The cables are on this side. So you wanna fold it up uh, to the right side. So I'm gonna take off this tool. And you can see there's some resistance here. So let's, uh, let's use the tool to kind of help separate that a little more. Let me take this one out so it doesn't get in the way. And there you have it. So as you can see, this is actually an OEM seal. It's never been opened before. So this is uh, the most difficult ones to do. But if the iPad has been repaired before, it's a lot easier to open up. But you can see it's an OEM screen. There's no stickers or um, you know labels or anything to show it's aftermarket. So you, you can still see some some adhesive down here so you could put uh, a few more drops of isopropyl alcohol to help release this side of things. So you could kind of wiggle it and you have now separated the glass. What I like to do once I'm done separating and if I need to come back to this later, I'll slightly twist the digitizer so it sits like that and it doesn't stick down. You could always use uh, the guitar picks as well to create a gap so it doesn't seal uh, when it's you know sitting there on, on your bench. Okay, so now we have the glass separated. I'm gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver. I like to use the tool drivers. There's four screws on each corner. Make sure you keep them organized. Uh, there is one screw that's a little longer than the rest. All right, four screws are out. Then you can use some tweezers to help uh, lift up the LCD. On this particular model, it's an iPad 6. 
there is some adhesive here on the corner, just go ahead and pry it up. Some other models do not have this uh, like rubber adhesive. Just use your tweezers to kind of pry it up. So now that I've released these corners, you could kind of get the other ones off. So now you have the glass digitizer and the LCD. There's some screws down here, so let me go ahead and remove those. There's three screws that, that hold the LCD plate in, in place. Then there's one battery screw over here. So just make sure you keep your screws organized. Once again, it's very important. Then using a spudger, I like to go underneath and pry it up. Now the battery is still connected, but unplugging stuff is safe to do when the battery is connected. The issue really comes down when you try to plug it in. That's where problems can arise. So go ahead and lift these up. Uh, clear out this, remove this uh, sticker over the home button. Flex. Pry that up. All right, so now lift up the glass. And I like to store my LCD like this, face down over the digitizer, that way I don't get anything on the LCD. And now the last step would be to disconnect the battery. So what I like to do is just add some isopropyl alcohol uh, in between the battery and the board. Then using my pry tool, I go in and lift up the board slightly. And then that releases the adhesive under the board. Then I put a guitar pick like that. This makes sure that the board is disconnected from the battery and you don't risk damaging the battery pins. We get a lot of repairs in from technicians who go in at the wrong angle and damage the battery pins underneath. So just uh, this is the best method that I found. All right guys, so this is how you do it. This is how you separate the glass digitizer from the housing. This is a very important uh, skill to learn, especially if you do soldering because in order to get inside the iPad, you do have to remove the glass. In most cases, they're not cracked. So you have to get inside to get to the charge port, to the TriStar charging IC, to the Wi-Fi, the backlight, whatever it is. You know, so many times these are sealed, you know, when they come in from customers. So um, it's very important to learn. And I hope this video really helps you out as far as uh, the technique to open it successfully. Now, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll have links in the description for all the tools I, I used in the video. And also uh, check out our merch store where you can get a t-shirt like this one, you can get a hoodie and a coffee mug. Now, if you do get something from that merch store, tag us on Instagram to show us you know, what you got. So until next time, bye.